boy I wanted to get this video out since Friday but the entire my entire Friday went to shit I, I woke up I got a text message and then that text message led to someone coming over and then someone coming over I had to go and do some shit there's some more shit and some more shit and some more shit and then yesterday Friday the 14th the worst day for me of all days happened and of course hell no I didn't have any room to make a video enough of my excuses motherfuckers I'm sorry today's the day we make this video it's been long coming so like a month ago actually I'm not gonna lie about it months ago someone commented on a video I did a while back like six months ago where I spoke about the idea of a Kuma from Street Fighter Goki the demon killer being in Mortal Kombat X as a DLC character it's not a very popular video I'm probably gonna leave a link for you guys to watch in the description if you'd like but after reading that comment I remembered oh yeah I should start back a series like this definitely speaking about potential DLC characters we would like to have in Mortal Kombat X so you know this is intended to be a Friday series so the next episode is gonna be Friday not Sunday I had something else intended for today but you know I wanna stick to my schedule as much as possible so I'm gonna get this video out because we're closing out so quickly to MKX's release I got no room to be missing videos man I got no room for that shit so Zeus it's been established by Ed Boon that realm that they're not really interested in bringing Kratos or Freddy and whatnot back to Mortal Kombat. At least not yet. That could change overnight, you know. So that's not really written in stone. But if someone had to reignite the flame and bring God of War, bring that awesome franchise with such beautiful characters and storyline, of course, back to Mortal Kombat. Bring that universe back to Mortal Kombat. I think we have a perfect replacement, ladies and gentlemen. I introduce to you the king of Mount Olympus, Zeus. Let's not be foolish. Zeus is just as popular as Kratos, man. Kratos has been speaking about that motherfucker day and night ever since God of War 2. So everyone knows Zeus, man. Everyone knows Zeus. And I don't think it. I don't think Zeus has haters, man. Because if you really look at the storyline, man, Zeus is like kind of innocent. You know what I'm saying? I, I am actually empathizing with Zeus more than Kratos in God of War 3. His side of the story just, you know. Well, fuck that. We can talk about Mortal Kombat. So with Zeus, I wrote down three potential variations for him. They're pretty interesting. So listen up. Alright, the first variation, of course, would be the Blade of Olympus variation. And the idea I'm thinking about with this variation will make him interesting. With Scorpion's Ninjutsu variation, he gets his sword and they get like an extended reach. You know, unlike other characters, Scorpion has that extended range with his melee attacks, which makes him dangerous. You don't want to be too close to Scorpion. I'm thinking Zeus should get the same thing, but kind of different, meaning that. Whenever I saw footage of Kratos or Zeus using the Blade of Olympus in God of War, they usually lunge at their opponents with the attacks. So instead of just getting that extra range, I think what makes Zeus more dangerous in this variation is that he he lunges at you. He doesn't just stand up and swing his sword. With every single attack, he lunges at you. And kind of like Kotokan with his sword, he can throw it, I'm guessing. And for a launch attack, Zeus could potentially stab the sword into the ground, which creates like a shock wave that launches your opponents and then you can attack them from there. Alright, give me a second. <clears throat> I just woke up so my, my nasal pathways are kind of blocked, so I'm forcing this commentary right now, to a degree. <laughs> Forgive me. Alright, the second variation would be the Thunderbolt variation. It's kind of influenced from Shang Tsung. So, instead of throwing like one Thunderbolt at your opponent like Raiden does, I'm thinking Zeus should throw volleys. Like if you chose one, expect two others to be behind it. Just like Shang Tsung would raise fireballs from the ground, Zeus would rain Thunderbolts from the sky. That's it. And one final attack would be kind of... Uh, I'm seeing Ermac getting like a freeze attack. Technically a freeze attack where his opponent is just suspended and they can't move. I'm thinking Zeus should get, get an attack like that too, that electrocutes you and paralyzes you temporarily. Ah, 
whoa man my throat my nose everything is just blocked it's just blocked man i should I should drink a cup of water after this all right finally finally the final variation will be the thunder lord variation to go side by side with Raiden's thunder god variation so here's what this will be capable of doing all right all naruto fans in the building you should like this third degree you know right kage right okay this is influenced by him with the thunder god thunder lord thunder lord variation zeus will get a thunder armor and this is also influenced by what i saw reptile do in the live stream in one of reptiles variations i can't remember what's his name right now he becomes like extremely smelly that's what they said <laughs> and you know if you use the meter the, it becomes even more potent and the closer your opponent is to you the more damage they receive over time so I'm thinking with this variation, Zeus does the exact same thing. If you stand close to him, you're going to get electrocuted piece by piece by piece over time and you're going to die. Alright. He also gets teleportation just like Rain. And just like Rain was flying to the god attack where he flies across the screen and attacks you. I'm thinking Zeus should get the same attack, but to make him even more interesting, he gets to do something like what Kano is capable of. Instead of just rolling linearly across the screen, Zeus can do it from the sky and dive down at you or dive up at you. Mm -hmm. So he has like total battlefield control. He has long range, extremely powerful long range, and extremely dangerous close quarters combat. So that's it for Zeus. Let me hear your thoughts about these variations in the comments below. If you have your own spin on the variations, leave that too. Yeah, so you can even like kind of guess who my next, you know, person for these videos would be. Who do you think I would put as the second DLC character? Leave it in the comments below, man. And whoever gets it right, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm honestly going to tell you. And then I'm going to make the video, of course. Anyway, man, this has been Boy JK. Peace out and enjoy your day by clicking on the video appearing on your screen right now. I'm gonna go blow my nose and clear my throat before I choke. God, this I gotta go, man. Peace out. <laughs>